All right, with our advanced payload system, we have a feature set called multitask mode. That is where you can put one task on pause, go do some other tasks, store them, and then come back to that original task and take off right where you're at. So with regard to that, I'm gonna simulate loading a rail car off to my left and loading trucks off to my right. So with that, you can see I'm loading a rail car with CA7 to William R&B uh, at the Edwards Demonstration Center here. So bear with me here and I'll, I'll give you a little example of how this system can be used. I'm going to give you an example of how our uh, multitask feature set of our advanced payload system could be used. In this case, you can see I'm actually loading a rail car, and uh, what that multitask system actually does is it allows me to put one task on pause, go back and do some other tasks, store those, and then return to that one task. You can either have it off, or you can just simply go into your payload settings turn on that multitask mode, leave it on all the time. And in this case, I'm turning on that multitask mode and you can see on this real estate, now I have task one and task two. Task one is my rail car. I'm gonna simulate that. You can see I'm two passes into this so far. And uh, if I was gonna do a third pass, I could just continue working, but I've got a customer that's actually showing up. So task two is gonna be loading a truck. I could select any truck that I want here. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it as truck one, Jones Construction, and I'm still loading CA7. So I'm gonna go ahead and load Jones Construction. So I could put second, third passes on this truck, but we're gonna call Jones Construction with that 13 tons good. I'm gonna store him that uh, stores that information under truck one. I don't have any more customers. I could, if I did have more customers, I could load those and save those as well. But in this case, I'm gonna return back to my rail car loading application. Go ahead and, and put that on. And you can see how this system will continue to accumulate material specific to that task one versus the task two. If I had a truck show up now, I could simply go over to task two, load those trucks out, and then come back to task one. All of that data is also under the uh, retrievable, under the inform area as well. So that's what our multitask mode is. Pause between one task, go do other tasks, come back to that task. That's multitasking mode.